three, two, one. MDS two. We have ignition. Uh, we have a liftoff. Roll program is in on time. Vehicle response is normal. TVC bus voltage look good. Tank pressure look good. Finally, a signal is heard from the depths of space. What secrets did Voyager 1 uncover? Could this signal be the key to deciphering the mysteries of the universe? Join us on an adventure beyond the stars. Voyager 1 is a technological masterpiece that was launched on September 5, 1977. For the past 45 years, this spacecraft has navigated the cosmos, crossing paths with Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto before venturing beyond the sun's reach into interstellar space on August 25, 2012. This was not just an achievement, but also a historic milestone, as it is the first of its type to get to this point. As of January 2024, Voyager 1 is still 163 astronomical units, AU, away from Earth, far outpacing Pluto's orbit. In context, the distance between the Sun and Earth is merely one AU. Commands sent from Earth to the spacecraft take around 22 hours to arrive, highlighting its status as the farthest human-made object ever produced. Despite the immense distance, NASA communicates with Voyager 1 via the Deep Space Network, ensuring data transmission and reception. However, in September 2023, NASA received confusing signals from the probe, which sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community. With these mystery signals touching the Earth, we have but one question. What exactly is wrong? Voyagers 1 and 2, as well as Pioneer 10, have already traveled into interstellar space, while Pioneer 11 and the New Horizons spacecraft are on track to transcend the sun's influence shortly. Voyager 1 has achieved an incredible number of firsts during its exploration voyage. Notably, it was the first satellite to produce comprehensive photographs of Jupiter and Saturn's moons, giving humans unparalleled access to these distant celestial bodies. Furthermore, Voyager 1 took the first and only family photo of our solar system to date. A notable feature aboard Voyager 1 is its golden record, a gold-plated audiovisual disc intended to serve as a historical capsule of Earth's culture and biodiversity. This album, created by a team that includes the renowned astronomer and scientific communicator Carl Sagan, features a chosen mix of images, sounds, and music from our planet. From the cries of a newborn baby to the rhythmic crashing of waves and the melancholy melodies of whale songs, the album represents humanity's collective voice and is intended as a goodwill gesture to any potential extraterrestrial civilizations that may contact the spacecraft. The record aimed to connect with other living forms in the universe and demonstrate our peaceful intentions. The last time Stamatios Tom Krimigus saw the Voyager 1 space probe in person was in the summer of 1977, shortly before it launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Voyager 1 is already more than 15 billion miles distant, beyond what many believe to be the solar system's limit. The mission of one of NASA's twin Voyager space probes has been in jeopardy for months since the space agency has been unable to get acceptable data from the vessel. It basically stopped talking to us in a coherent manner, explained Suzanne Dodd of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, project manager for the Voyager interstellar mission since 2010. It's a serious problem. Instead of sending communications home in binary code, Voyager 1 is currently only sending back alternating ones and zeros. Dodd's team has attempted the normal reset methods with no success. It appears that there is an issue with the onboard computer, which collects and packages data for transmission back home. Dodd claims that all of this computer technology is rudimentary in comparison to the key fob that opens your car. The button you press to open the door of your car that has more compute power than the Voyager spacecraft do, she goes on to explain. It's remarkable that they keep flying and that they've flown for 46 plus years. To discover what was going on, Mission Control issued a poke on March 1st, directing Voyager 1's flight data subsystem to execute alternate sequences in case a software error was causing the problem. NASA received the desired response within two days. The poke delivered to Voyager 1 as it moves 15.1 billion miles away from Earth, made engineers optimistic after receiving a reaction earlier in March 2024. Mission Control poked Voyager 1 and received a new signal on March 3rd, which they began working feverishly to interpret days later. According to NASA, 
By March 10th, the crew had established a memory readout that could include crucial data for restoring regular communications with Voyager 1. Just to buttress for clarity, the problem appears to be with one of the three onboard computers, the Flight Data Subsystem, or FDS, which is in charge of packaging science and engineering data before sending it to Earth via the telemetry modulation unit called a data encoder. On March 3rd, the Voyager mission team observed activity in one part of the FDS that was distinct from the remainder of the computer's unreadable data stream. The new signal was still not in the format used by Voyager 1 when the FDS was fully operational, so the team wasn't sure what to make of it at first. However, an engineer from the agency's deep space network, which operates the radio antennas that interact with Voyagers and other spacecraft traveling to the moon and beyond, decoded the new signal and discovered that it contained a readout of the complete FDS memory. This comparison may simply identify the anomaly, allowing engineers to develop a precise remedy. It's a detective story taking place throughout the solar system with the chance to save one of humanity's most remote explorers. Deciphering Voyager's signal and identifying the problem is like finding a needle in a haystack, except this haystack is over 15 billion miles distant. The data sent back is a gold mine of information, but sorting through it is no easy process. The FDS memory contains both code, instructions on what to do, and variables, or values used in the code that can vary depending on commands or the spacecraft's status. It also includes research and engineering data for downlink. The team will compare this readout to the one that was generated before the issue arising and check for variations in the code and variables to perhaps identify the root of the ongoing issue. This new signal was the consequence of an instruction transmitted to Voyager 1 on March 1st. The command, known as a poke, is intended to gently prod the FDS to try alternate sequences in its software package if the problem can be remedied by circumventing a faulty region. Finding the source of the abnormality is an immense task. Each bit of data must be carefully evaluated with its predecessors, looking for differences that may reveal the nature of the issue. The technical obstacles are considerable. Voyager 1's systems are archaic by today's standards, having been constructed with 1970s technology. Modifying or updating the spacecraft's software from such a long distance with commands taking over 17 hours to reach the spacecraft and another 17 hours to respond, requires not only technical expertise, but also remarkable patience. The mission team must carefully craft any remedial directives, fully aware that a mistake could complicate or even end the mission. Furthermore, this endeavor involves a race against the clock. Voyager 1 is dealing with not only a software issue, but also the eventual depletion of its power supplies. Each year, the spacecraft has less energy to power its equipment and return data to Earth. Resolving the current communication issue is critical to maximizing scientific return in the remaining years of the mission. This breakthrough signal is more than simply a ray of hope. It is a lighthouse that illuminates the route ahead for Voyager 1 and the determined team working relentlessly to solve its mysteries. Because Voyager 1 is more than 15 billion miles, 24 billion kilometers, from Earth, a radio signal takes 22.5 hours to reach the spaceship. The probe's reaction then takes another 22.5 hours to reach ground-based antennae. So the team received the command's results on March 3rd. On March 7th, engineers began attempting to decrypt the data. Finally, on March 10th, they discovered that it included a memory readout. Presently, the team is reviewing the readout. Using such knowledge to develop a feasible solution and try to put it into action, will take time. In conclusion, Voyager 1's recent communication is a testament to human ingenuity and tenacity in the face of cosmic obstacles. This astounding achievement gives new hope for deciphering the spacecraft's secrets and realizing its scientific potential. What do you think about the whole thing? Please share them in the comments section below. Also, do not forget to like and share this video with people who want to know more about the happenings of this world.